Hello there, Seraphim17 once again. This is my Uncharted 3 brutal difficulty video walkthrough. No time to rest. This is chapter one, another round, and I would highly recommend that you get used to uh, the mechanics of this particular sequence of fighting that's uh, introduced in Uncharted 3, which is you press square to beat people up. When they stop your punch and try and counter, you want to press triangle, and if they grab you, you want to press circle. It's a pretty simple system of three choices at any one given moment, and it works surprisingly well. Additionally, if you beat people up to next to objects, such as interactables, you can do these really interesting and deadly looking animations, which will finish people with bottles, hit them with certain things, uh, all kinds of great stuff. Uh, but this is where the level actually begins, and this is where you're going to be doing a, a large amount of fighting. The reason I say get comfortable with this concept of fighting is because there's a very long section coming up, I think it's in chapter 12, where you're going to be doing a lot of fighting on your own, and you need to know how these systems work in that instance, or you're going to have trouble with it, because it's the longest fight in the game. I don't think you'll have any issue when you get there, because I think you'll be ready, but it's worth noting that you need to understand how these systems interact with each other. So all I recommend doing is mash square. Mash square, when you see an enemy go to attack, press uh, triangle. If you get grabbed, press circle, but always be go back to mashing square. If he does that, triangle. Keep mashing square, mash square, mash square, you've just won. And it's all you do. It's very, very simple once you understand the concept. You'll see Nathan's punching at thin air. It's because I'm trying to get him to lead into the next opponent who doesn't exist because he's too far away at that point. And if you just follow that simple path of, of mashing square and then when you see them do something, press triangle or circle, uh, you'll you'll get to the end of it and this is the heavy dude so once again he stops your punch press triangle start punching him punching him punching him square 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 the moment he does something press something else uh, this guy's gonna hit me coming up um, on this bit here oh no maybe not i think it's the next one so more squares more squares i think it's this does this put me to nearly dead yeah it does so i think on that animation just then I don't think you can stop that with circle. I think it's part of this fight because I remember it ending like this every single time. Um, but once that's happened, there's there's more exposition. Then we're led into a kitchen where there's going to be more fighting. And once again here, it's a great example of using the environment to do these uh, context sensitive moments, which are really cool and they're also very powerful too. So use them to your advantage. But this is the beginning of the brutal walkthrough. Lots of people have been asking for this, guys, so I hope you're excited for it. The game is really fun, and so far I'm having a ton of uh, a ton of fun with brutal. I didn't think I would. I thought there'd be moments where, like, yeah, this is this is going to be tough. But so far, it's been nothing but fun. So uh, hopefully that'll continue, and I'll bring the rest of it uh, to your kind eyes. So thank you for watching, and you take care now.